Hi there, this is Ruben from Dutch Round 1. Thanks again for stopping by. Thanks for watching another episode. I appreciate your time and I appreciate the support. Today, what are we going to do? We'll be doing some imperfectum exercises. The imperfectum, the simple past in Dutch. All right? But before we do that and before we test your knowledge, remember to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you want more content and let me know in the comments how you did, what you thought about this exercise and also which kind of videos you need in order to improve your Dutch. But without much further ado, let's go straight for the exercise. So how will we do the imperfectum exercise? Well, first of all, if you don't remember what the imperfectum is or how we form it in Dutch, not a problem. Click on the link which you will be seeing right now. This is a video I made on how we form the imperfectum in Dutch, the simple past in Dutch. Just, you know, as a quick reminder, um, the simple past would be the equivalent of I walked, I saw, I went and so on. So it's ik wandelde, ik zag, ik ging. All right. So you'll see some sentences now in the coming exercises and there will be a blank. Now at the end of the sentence, you will see the infinitive of the verb. So the verb in its purest form and you will have to put the infinitive, that verb into the simple past. So filling out the blank. I'll give you a little bit of time to think and then afterwards you will see the correct answer popping up. Now, first of all, this is for entertainment uh, purposes. So there's no stress. If you do well, well done, you're on the right track. If you still struggle a little bit, it's not a problem. Then you know what you have to work on. Maybe find a list online of the irregular verbs uh, in the imperfectum, but also in the perfectum and try to learn them by heart. Of course, for the regular ones, there is a rule which you were able to see in the video that I've made regarding the imperfectum. Uh, so yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so as you can see, you see the sentence and you see the blank. So ik blank naar school and the infinitive is gaan. So you need to put gaan into the imperfectum and the correct answer would be remember to give it a pause if you want to think a little bit longer and the correct answer would be ik ging naar school. I went to school. Ik ging naar school. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Now it's wij blank heel moe. Zijn would be your verb. So um, wij and the correct answer is wij waren heel moe. We were very tired. Okay, we shall continue. Verkopen. Verkopen is to sell. Wij blank onze auto. So verkopen. Remember to give it a pause if you want the correct answer. And the correct answer is wij verkochten onze auto. Verkochten. Um, irregular verb. Also in this exercise, most of the verbs will be irregular. There are some regular ones, but most of them are irregular. Okay, we shall continue. We have rijden. Okay, jullie blank te snel rijden. So how would you say you drove too fast? Well, the correct answer would be jullie rijden te snel. Jullie rijden te snel. Okay, so now we go to the next one. We have reizen to travel. Hij blank naar Nederland. Remember to give it a pause if you want the correct answer. And the correct answer is reisde. As you can see, that S uh, or that Z uh, turn into an S, all right? So now if you follow the normal rules, that would be okay. We look for the base of the verb. We have an S. S is part of Seft Ketchup. So normally we would have to add TE or TEN in the plural. But not with verbs such as reizen, not with verbs such as proven or durven, where the V changes into an F, where the Z changes into an S. That is an exception because we still look at the infinitive and that is what we write DE, although our base of the verbs is ending with an S. Okay, uh, then we have lopen, zij blank in the stad and the correct answer can be two because they can be she but it can also be they so they leap of they leapen in the stad 
All right, there we go to the next one. Again, they, so it can be she or it can be they. They, blank, het station, zoeken. So how would you put zoeken in the simple past where here comes the answer? And it would be zij zocht of zij zochten het station. And then we go to the next one. Komen, to come. Um, hij blank, altijd te laat. He came always too late. How do we say that in Dutch? Hij kwam altijd te laat. Hij kwam altijd te laat. That would be the simple past of komen, also irregular. Okay, then we have the verb staan, to stand. So iedereen blank in de file. Iedereen, the correct answer is coming your way. Don't forget to pause if you still want to think a little bit longer. And it would be iedereen stond in de file. Everybody stood in the traffic jam, literally. Stond. Okay, the next one is spelen. We blank tennis in het park. We blank tennis in het park. What would the simple past be? It would be we speelden tennis in het park. Completely regular, you can see base of the verb ending on an L, not part of soft ketchup. So you'll add DE in the singular, but in this case it's we, so it's uh, plural, so we have to add DEN. Okay, the next one is we op de trein. Wachten would be the infinitive, the correct answer is coming your way, and it would be Wachten with two T's. Now why do we write two T's? Well, this way we can make a difference between the present, which, which would be wachten with one T, and then of course the simple past would be wachten with two T's. That way we can see that it's in the past. Okay, we shall continue and we have the verb zien. Zien to see, so he saw the horizon, hey blank. The horizon, how would we say that in Dutch? Well, here is the correct answer. Hij zag de horizon. Hij zag de horizon. All right, we shall continue and we have the verb antwoorden. Antwoorden is to answer. So, ik blank op de vraag. Um, and the correct answer is ik antwoorde op de vraag. As you can see, to these again to show that it is in the simple past and not in the present. We shall continue with vinden, vinden to find. Juli blank de schat. So you found the treasure. How do we say that in Dutch? Well, we say Juli vonden de schat. Juli vonden de schat. That would be the simple past, irregular simple past of the verb vinden. Okay, we continue with the word, the verb werken. Hij blank in the supermarkt. Hij, how would we put werken in the sing, uh, simple past? Well, here we go. Hij werkte in the supermarkt. Again, completely regular. Base of the verb is ending with a K. According to the rules, soft ketchup in the singular because it's hij. We add T. Okay, we continue schrijven to write. Juli blank een brief. Um, so how would we put schrijven in the simple past? Well, it would be Juli schreven een brief. Juli schreven een brief. You wrote a letter. Okay, we continue with the next one. Leven to live. Wij blank heel eenvoudig. So how would we put leven in the imperfectum? How would we put leven in the simple past? Well, it would be wij leefden heel eenvoudig. Now you can see again that we, in the base of the verb, turn into an F. Normal, if it was normal, we would have to follow the soft ketchup rules. So F, part of soft ketchup. We would have to add ten. However, this is an exception because we look at the infinitive, at the V. That is why we write den. Okay, we shall continue with the word, uh, the verb uh, wonen. Dus hij blank toen in Nederland. He lived back then, then in the Netherlands. How would we say that in Dutch? Well, the correct answer is coming your way. Completely regular. Hij woonde. Toen in Nederland, N is not part of soft ketchup, so we add DE in the singular. And we go to the next one, zingen to sing. Zij 
can be she, can be they, so both options are correct. Zij blank, een mooi lied. So what would the correct answer be? Remember to hit that pause button if you want to think a little bit longer. And the correct answer would be Zij zong, of Zij zongen een mooi lied. She sang or they sang a beautiful song. Okay, the next one is nemen, nemen to take, wij blank, de bus. So how would we say in Dutch, we took the bus? The correct answer is coming your way. And it would be wij namen de bus. Wij namen de bus. I took, ik nam, ik nam, sorry. We took, wij namen. Okay, and then we have vallen, vallen is to fall, ik Blank in het water, so I fell in the water. How do we say that in the perfectum? How do we say that in the simple past in Dutch? Well, the correct answer is Ik viel in het water. I fell in the water. Ik viel in het water. Okay, then we have the verb worden. Worden is to become in Dutch. And uh, hij blank erg kwaad. He became very angry. How would we say that in Dutch? Remember to hit that pause button if you want to think a little bit more. And the correct answer would be Hij werd echt erg kwaad. Hij werd erg kwaad. He became very angry. And then we go to the verb eten, to eat. Quite an important verb. Uh, you, uh, jullie, you, uh, blank, een pizza. So, um, how would we say you ate a pizza in Dutch, in the simple past, in the imperfectum? Well, the correct answer is jullie aten een pizza. Jullie aten een pizza. Okay, and then we continue with the verb krijgen. Krijgen is to get, to receive. Um, so, he got no answer. He didn't receive an answer. How would we say that in Dutch? Well, the correct answer is Hij kreeg geen antwoord. Hij kreeg geen antwoord. And then the last one, the last one is stelen, to steal. So the thief, the thief, blank, a laptop. So the thief stole a laptop. How do we say that in Dutch? Well, the correct answer is coming your way. If you want to think a little bit longer, hit that pause button. The correct answer is de dief stal een laptop. De dief stal een laptop. Okay, so these were the 25 exercises regarding the imperfectum, the simple past in uh, Dutch. Uh, I hope you did well. I hope this was easy for you. Um, if it was easy for you, congratulations. You're definitely on the right track. If this was still a little bit difficult for you, don't worry. You can watch my grammar videos or you can do more exercises or maybe take a look at that list of irregular verbs in the perfectum and in the imperfectum. As for me, I want to thank you again for your time, uh, for your support. Don't forget to uh, give it a like button, subscribe to the channel if you want more grammar exercises, reading or listening. Uh, exercises and let me know in the comments how you did and which kind of videos you need in order to improve your Dutch and as for me thanks again for watching keep a 100 and stay tuned for another episode of Dutch round one ciao